Welcome, I'm Achilles Hero, the tournament organizer for Gippsland Pokemon Go PvP. In this video, we'll feature my performance in the Gippsland Toxic Cup. We only got eight competitors for this tournament, so it will just be a three rounder. Hey, okay, going into the first round, we're up against K31. We win the lead. This ice is going to be super effective to Flygon. We get the first shield. I decide to shield here and then farm down this Flygon. Storing up energy for them to throw at the next Pokemon. I blindly go for the Avalanche. Uh, in that situation it was best for me to go for Bulldoze. But I feel like I didn't have time to decide on the two moves. Being at such low HP. Bring in Heracross. I do burn my last shield. I was afraid of getting landed with a earthquake. Uh, at this point, I'm just trying to bait the last shield or knock this fortress out. Venusaur comes in. I'm trying to go for Mega Horn. Um, probably didn't need to do that. Probably should just go on straight for close combat because I needed to uh, burn her last shield. Um, and with the debuff, Frenzy Plant was enough to knock out me Heracross. I bring in Salaby, his confusion damage is going to do a fair bit, but she will be able to reach a sludge bomb in time. Unfortunately, she used the wrong move and I was I had luck on my hands and I was able to take out that Venusaur on confusions. Hey, on to our second battle. Idiot against Gun Tank. Uh, if this was a crunch or a sludge bomb, it was going to do a fair bit, so I did shield. I try to farm up to a hurricane. Um, she reaches another charge move. I decide just to let this go. I do lose me energy, but I feel like it wasn't worth investing two shields in. Farm up the scun tank with Heracross. She brings in Pidgeot. I switch out into Celebi. Not the best matchup for me. Infusions does a bit though. I am going to have to shield. I need to keep this Celebi alive because I only have Heracross in the back. Get the bait with Seed Bomb. Reach another Seed Bomb. Which is going to be enough to take out this Pidgeot. And she has Rhyperia in the back. Go for the, another Seed Bomb. And I tried to switch into Heracross with a built up close combat already, but uh, the Seed Bomb was enough to KO that Rhyperia. Okay, we're on to game three. Not a great matchup for me. Uh, the ice is going to do a bit, but Venusaur gets to Frenzy Plant really quick, which I have to watch out for. Uh, so I throw an Avalanche and then switch out into Hippo. Going to shield this uh, expected Frenzy Plant. It was a Sludge Bomb though. I'm going to try to Fire Fang down and use a Body Slam, but she's able to get to another Frenzy Plant in time. I decide to invest me second shield to get this body slam off and take out the Venusaur. She brings in Scun Tank. 
Um, trying to build up to an earth power and then go for the body slam bait. Doesn't shield. Switch in a hero swine. Try to farm this gun tank down. Able to get to another charge move though. Farm it down to throw an avalanche at the next Pokemon. Get the last shield. I'll go for the Hippo to try to reach Body Slam. Don't get it in time due to the low HP. Bring in Salvi, try to go for the Seed Bomb. Rhyperia gets a charge move off. Uh, luckily for me, Surf is resisted, so I'm able to reach Seed Bomb in time to KO this Rhyperia. Okay, on to round two, we're up against Boba Fett 3844. Even though his tooth card has random hero to copy my misspelling of hero with the E on the end. Um, just go on body slam. Get the shield. Just gonna tank this crunch. Which is in a hair cross, I switch out into Pidgeot and just farm it down with autos. Brings in Giraffe Rig. I build up to Hurricane and go for the Aerial Ace Bait. Doesn't shield. Try to build up to a Hurricane. Uh, I go for the Aerial Ace because I was afraid of not getting the Air Hurricane off in time. Uh, I do get the second shield though. Bring back in the hippo. I've got two shields, so I will use one to save this hippo to get a, another body slam off. The uh, shiny Alolan Raticate comes back in. I switch out into Heracross. Uh, I shield its charge move, and then I just take it down with counters to take out the first battle. Okay, on to the second battle. I, I decided to shoot here. I wasn't sure what moves this muck had. I wanted to keep his hair across alive, but I had to use close combat so I, I take his shield but now I've uh, debuffed myself for his giraffe rig to nearly one shot before I switch out into Pidgeot I do shield again uh, I thought this giraffe rig might have had a thunder move and I wanted to keep this Pidgeot alive to get a hurricane off which lands uh, he brings his muck back in. He's gonna thunder punch it. Bring Hippo in. Going for the body slam. He wins CMP. Doesn't shield. Saves it for some four in the back. I switch out into Heracross to get the close combat off. But with his shield, he's going to take out this Heracross and finish the Hippo on autos. Okay, we're one apiece. The winner of this next battle is going to win the round and move on to the final. Build up some energy with Hippo and then go for the Body Slam. He 
Shields switches out. I switch into Pidgeot, expecting Sunflora to come out. Go straight for the Aerial Ace. Earns his second shield. I do shield here because it could be a sludge bomb. And farm it down. And with me built up energy, I land Hurricane on this muck. Free in Hippo just to farm down the muck. I'll use the shield. Build up the energy. Try to go for Earth Power, but he's able to get a charge move off. Let me Salaby in the back comes in, uh, trying to reach Seed Bomb. Does reach a charge move. But it is not enough, and me Seed Bomb will KO the Giraffe Rig to take out the round and move on to the final. Alright, on to the final. We're up against the one, the highest ranked player in Gippsland Pokemon Go PvP. We win the crucial lead. Switches out into Bib. I switch out into Celebi. Go for the Seed Bomb. I do shoot here because this could be Hyper Fang. He lets the bib go. Brings back in the Gliscor. Able to get the seed bomb off. Shields. I shield here. Wanting Celebi for later in the battle. Expecting either a Golbat or a Toxicroak. Which is in the Toxicroak, I just go for the Avalanche, try to get the shield. Get the shield, try to reach another Avalanche, unable to do so. Bring in Pidgeot. Sludge Bomb hitting hard on Pidgeot, but it's able to get an Aero Lace off to take out the Toxicroak. Uh, his Gliscor comes back in to take it out. And Salaby comes in, very tight finish to land the Seed Bomb to take out the Gliscor. Uh, and he did say that it came down to CMP at the end there, because he had a Night Slash ready to go. Right, I won the first battle, which means if I win this battle, I'll take out the tournament. If the one wins, it'll go to a third battle. Try switching out. Uh, he goes for Night Slash. I decide to stay in a bit more, farm up some energy because there's no threat of an earthquake. Uh, go for the Acid Spray debuff, get the debuff and the shield. I'm up a bit more, switch out. Just spamming night slashes. He gets the boost. I'll go for the arrow ace, put pressure on him. Uh, he should shield here. And he's going to wing attack my Pidgeot down with the boosted damage. Bring in Hippo. He switches into Bib. Go for the Body Slam. Do some neutral damage. And switch out into Tentacruel. Now I just want to farm up this Bib. So I will invest my shield. 
Farming up a bit, uh, get an acid spray off to not KO the bib, but get enough damage off to take it out on autos before he can get to a charge move. And just reach a hydro pump to take out this Toxicroak. I was praying that this wasn't Earthquake, because if it was, it was going to be GG's, but it is just Night Slash, so uh, we're able to Fire Fang this Gliscor down to take out the tournament. Okay, on to the third. Lead Pidgeot, he leads wherever damn trash. Nice lead for me. Uh, he brings in Bib. I miss switching to Hippo. I did intend to switch into Heracross. Uh, puts me in a bad situation. I was <laughs> annoyed at myself for this. Um, I go for the body slam just to do some chunk damage. Uh, what I could have done is just sack swap this Hippo and just brought in the Heracross after that. I mean, either either situation because of that miss switch was going to be bad, but. Bring in the hair across to take out the bib. Uh, this Wemmerdam Trash is going to come back out. I have to go for the close combat, burn a shield or does some serious damage to it. And then switch out into Pidgeot. Which he's going to hard counter with Steelix. Just go for the Hurricane and do as much damage as I can to the Steelix. Uh, but he's just going to resist uh, Pidgeot's moves. I shield. I need to try to keep this Pidgeot alive because I'm going to need it for wearing them trash. But I'm not going to make the timer to switch out. And Heracross is going to be able to farm down this Steelix. Uh, but it's not going to be enough to take out the uh, Wemmerdam Trash. And that is game three. Okay, here are the final standings. Achilles Hero, Gippsland Toxic Cup Champion. So I was able to take out the tournament, undefeated with three wins. Tournament recap, uh, I am hot about one play that I made in a high pressure situation and that is during the final in the second battle. The Tentacruel v Bib matchup. Uh, my decision to acid spray and then poison jab down was probably the best way I could have played it. Because if I had just gone straight for the Poison Jab farm down, I would have risked losing all that energy because Bib would have reached a charge move in time. Um, and if I would just gone for the Hydro Pump, I would have had no energy left to take out the Toxic Croak that was in the back. So the right call there was to get an Acid Spray off to do that little bit of extra damage, but not KO so that I could get a few extra autos in to farm up and beat the bib to its charge move so I could reach Hydro Pump for that Toxic Croak in the back to one-shot it and then all I had to worry about after that was the Gliscor. Okay, and that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching.